Well, hello, everybody. We welcome you to this edition of News You Can Use. I'm your host, Thera Martin-Milling. Glad to be with you today. On our program today, we're going to dedicate the show to putting the spotlight on a wonderful organization in the heart of North Central Philadelphia. I'm talking about the Beach Companies. They are making a difference. And the president of the Beach Companies, he is here, Mr. Ken Scott, to tell that story. We'll be back in just a moment. Stay with us. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of News You Can Use. I am your host for the program and glad to have you with us today, no matter where it is that you are checking out the show, be that at the laundry mat or if you're at home, if you're at work, wherever it is, we appreciate you for looking and taking a, a peek at what we do here at LaSalle TV. Today on the program, as I said when we first did our teaser open, we have Mr. Ken Scott here. Ken, hey, thank you for hey, coming. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir, the president of the Beach Companies. Yes. Wow. Wow. Um, what a special organization in North Central Philadelphia that's making a difference. Mm -hmm. Now, for people who are not familiar with your organization, give us some background, some history, please. Okay, so the, the, the history of it really started in 1990. Uh, the Beach Corporation at that time was a subsidiary of the William Penn Foundation. Mm -hmm. And people are familiar with the William Penn Foundation. It's the large Big foundation name. here in Philadelphia. Big yes, name. yes, that uh, was founded by the, uh, the Haas family from Rome Haas Chemical. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the idea was right around North Central Philly where we're located at off of Cecil B. Moore Avenue, mainly uh, I would say from Susquehanna down to Gerard on the primarily Broad Street, Wester Ridge, um, was at that time in 1990 the highest in crime and poverty. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Bernard Watson was the president of the William Penn Foundation and he wanted to know, and he had been a, a, a dean at Temple and so forth in the school district, you know, what does it take to really turn a community like this around? What kind of efforts do you really need? So that was the beginning of the beach Corporation, mm -hmm. and fortunately, he had a guy named Floyd Austin. Ah. Floyd, who was also the president of the Board of Education, he was a retired banker. He, uh, you know, took on the mission of hey, he grew up in North Philadelphia, he knew knew the area, he knew the people. Um, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take this on as running the foundation and really just try to build a collaboration of community organizations and putting things back together. So we really started as a foundation giving out grants and technical support. Mm -hmm. And that's what we did for, the, for primarily the first five years under the way. How Act. challenging was it? Because what I'm finding is that sometimes in some of our communities, uh, particularly people who've been around for a long time, they're suspicious of new organizations and new oh, yes. groups when you first come in. And it's like you have to nurture and work those relationships yes. or do people just jump right on board? Oh, no. So I, I wasn't there in the very beginning, but okay. I knew Floyd well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Floyd would always tell the, the story of, you know, basically the, the benefit of him was he was from North Central Philadelphia. He grew right up off of Diamond Street. He still knew a lot of people in the community and had a lot of relationships. Mm -hmm. And he was also at the school district. So right. obviously, you're right. running the school district city of Philadelphia, you know everyone right. whose children are involved in the schools and other relationships. So he was perfect in that role. And then he started what was called the Consortium with Cecil B. Moore Organizations. Mm -hmm. Primary area of North Central Philly where we're working at was named at the civil rights leader Cecil B. Moore. Right. His home was right there on Oxford Street. And uh, so that's where the, the area today still carries the name of the Cecil B. Moore mm -hmm. community. And uh, so we have the consortium meeting was to bring, it's up to about 70 organizations now, back mm -hmm. then it's probably about 35, kind of bring them together to meet each other, because a lot of them, even though they were in the same neighborhood, didn't really know each other. Right. Um, there was a lot of tripping over each other, kind of like, we have an ideal to work on a few houses on this block. Well, there was another organization maybe looking at the same thing, but mm -hmm. never communicating. Mm -hmm. So he pulled it all together, and that's really one of the huge success stories that Beach has had, is building up this consortium of community, government, uh, leadership, officials, the different agencies, all working together, and also with the university. I can remember around the time when I first met you, and you shared with me some of the plans and some of the things that were going to happen. Darn if every one of them hasn't happened. In uh -huh. I'm talking about uh, development projects yes. along Cecil B. Moore Avenue and in that area. To date, can you give us a sense of like how many, I mean, it looks like Cecil B. Moore Avenue is owned by beach companies. I'm <laughs> just thinking, all of that's yours. From sure. where your address is, that whole block, it just, it, it looks so um, concise and um, 
everything is in order and mm -hmm. in sync. Everything flows on the block. The buildings look like they're supposed to be next to each other. Nothing is sticking out, like mm -hmm. out of place. That's all beach, isn't it? So yeah, so back in the it. 90s, wow. uh, you know, we started to not only give out grants and do technical support, but we realized that, uh, you know, Floyd realized and the, the board realized that they needed some real development. So I happened just by happenstance, I was at the utilities. I bumped into Floyd at the school district, so I was mm -hmm. interested in getting children interested in engineering and science. Yes. My background really is in engineering and science. Mm -hmm. um, so people always ask me, you know, how did you wind up here? I bumped into Floyd in the hallway by happenstance or divine intervention. Mm -hmm. And he told me about the foundation. I said, hey, you know, I know this, you know, I know the area well. I had relatives there, I spent summers there. Um, yeah, I'll come and help you as a volunteer. And right. I came up to help him yeah. as a volunteer. Wow. And that was the launch of us starting to do some of the different development projects, really, with my background. That is amazing. And that's a story that I certainly hope our viewers heard that. Volunteerism. And I tell young people this all the time. You never know what volunteering might do for you. Like, it might translate into a job for you. I've seen right. it happen for so many people. Now I know that that's your testimony, too. Yes, wow. yes, yes. Completely different career. Mm. Now, I can't, now, I can't say that, you know, and definitely you're volunteering, even if it turns into a job. In my situation, yes. obviously, I was a manager and mm -hmm. like yes. I had a very successful private career mm -hmm. so of course once I said oh by the way I'll accept working here of course it was at a substantially much lower pay grade mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> but yes. that was fine mm -hmm. because I really was at the stage of life where you know I could volunteer my time and I could you know work at reduced uh, salary mm -hmm. and really just take on the mission of the organization. Now the main building where your office is located um, I know the NAACP because I'm an active part of the NAACP we've held elections there yes. um, I know of other community groups that have had meetings in there um, I remember the good old days of WURD when Kearney Anderson was still alive yes. we did a radiothon right yes. there in your spot and it was a very successful radiothon I think that was for Haiti. Yes for Haiti. Fact. Right, yeah. Disaster so um, are, are, is the community able to still come in yes. and, 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 and get use uh, oh, yes, from time yes, yes, to time? Ab absolutely you know we we also have developed into we do documentary films and some other uh, PSAs and mm -hmm. other public service announcements and things but the studio was community driven yes. so we still use it for other benefits of the community and, and short films and, and okay. studio meetings and we just had a large meeting with all the city representatives mm -hmm. about developing in the city and developing in your community yeah. that was just hosted was that by that rebuild Philadelphia piece so it was part of the rebuild Philadelphia okay. and also was just part of general information of mm -hmm. who do you contact at the redevelopment authority mm -hmm. who do you contact at L&I yes. you know how do you go through the process of redeveloping property in your area okay now beach this year well I guess it really started last year of 2016 and you have this young lady uh, who is a public relations maven in the city of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. very well seasoned, Marilyn Jewett, um, uh, working with you on this project to try to pull businesses. Right. Is it uh, just African American businesses or is it all small businesses that you're no, doing so, a directory for? So we're looking at really, um, it came about through, you know, Marilyn, she really wanted to develop this idea and she's always been active in community and of course African American businesses. Mm -hmm. And so she had approached me a while ago, but I had thought about it one day, I needed to have a tree removed. Mm -hmm. And somebody else, well, when I mentioned it to them, said, oh yeah, you know, I need, do you know some people? People are always calling me about various contractors and businesses. Mm -hmm. And these kind of businesses aren't in the end directory it's right. all word of mouth and I was like you know we really need to capture these kind of hidden businesses mm -hmm. and really put them in a directory so we figured we would start focus on North Central Philadelphia because obviously it's an yes. area that we focus on but eventually branch it out throughout the city mm -hmm. there are all kinds of directories already available you know each right. area you know a lot of the community organizations have put together small directories mm -hmm. in their particular area right. So eventually we're hoping to, to piece that all together, but right now, yes, <laughs> yes, right, and say here's the directory, mm -hmm. here are these businesses that you may not have known of, like I said, and so I talked to the person who's about to retire who took my tree down, he's been in business 45 years, mm -hmm. he's never been in a wow. directory, he doesn't mm -hmm. advertise mm -hmm. in the yellow pages, right, and he's been successful for 45 right. years right. in the tree business and tree removal and, and landscaping business. You know, how does that happen? So there's plenty of businesses like that. Mm -hmm. And I could think of several right off the top sure, of my head sure. that yes. Now, so for viewers watching the program right now who are business owners, who are thinking, hmm, I'm in North Central. That's a good idea. I'd like to be in that directory. What do they need to do at this point? And like, what's the deadline? What's your you know, time frame of when you want to actually get this book printed so, out there and in our hands? So we like to have it done by the, the end of February, but you know, but my main mission is to have it just continuous 
just keep going mm -hmm. and always be able to, to upload your information and just have the, the director go uh, forever, really. Okay. Um, but uh, you can basically send the email, not directly to the beach companies, but to the organization we have working on and, and consultant putting it together. Mm -hmm. And that would be North Philly Biz, B I Z, at Outlook.com. Mm -hmm. So North Philly Biz at Outlook.com. Okay. You would email that your request that you want to be in the directory. We'll send you out a form for you to give us all your information. And that's, that's really it. That's all it takes. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when I was chatting with Marilyn one day, um, correct me if I'm wrong, she said that to just get listed, there's no cost. There's no cost. To send us your no, information. To send us your information. Now, if you want to get a fancy ad and you want a whole page at the, in the inside back cover or something like right, that, yes. then people would pay for it. Right. An if ad. you want something extra, but the main fo focus mm. really is just getting your information out there. That's, you know, that's if you want to promote your business at a higher level, mm -hmm. that's fine. We're, we will be here to assist you that with that. Great. But really what we're about is just getting the information out there, getting the, the information in the hands of other people and recirculating those dollars in our community. Mm -hmm. And that is such a good thing. Um, boy, when we come back in the second half, I want you to talk a little bit about the entrepreneurial spirit for North Philadelphia. We do know that um, more often than not, it is small businesses that help to carry yes. America to make for sure that your everyday citizen has a job. Um, might not be a big time job but working in a small business and so we want to try to encourage people to go that route mm -hmm. too if they can and we want to talk some more about the other development uh, things that uh, Beach has going on and how can community plug into you and be involved with whatever good projects you sure. have and I know you got a big jazz jam coming up That's as right. well. That's right every year we have our annual jazz <laughs> on the Ad festival. All we'll right. In August. Well, we're going to talk about all of that in just a few moments. Mr. Ken Scott is going to stay along Thank with you. us as we continue to shine the spotlight on the Beach Companies, a wonderful nonprofit organization founded in the 1990s here in the city of Philadelphia, and it continues to grow and do great work today. As we prepare to go to break, let me tell you that there are um, job opportunities for teenagers for the summer of 2017. I'm pleased to say through the Allegheny West Foundation. And so if you have a young person in your home between the ages of 14 and 18, and you'd like to see them working this summer, they need to, number one, get their working papers. And you can get working papers from the City of Philadelphia Public School District on North Broad Street. Fill out the paperwork there. Your parents have to sign off on it. And also, we would like to have copies of your latest report card. And it's not to say, oh, well, if you don't have straight A's, you can't get a job for the summer. We encourage all of our young people, whether you're straight A's, or if you got some C's, you might even have something lower than that within your report card. We still want to welcome you. It's about timing and being amongst the first to turn in your information. You would start by calling 215-223-3714. That's 215-223-3714. Or you can stop by the Tasty Cake Thrift Store at 2236. West Hunting Park Avenue, that's right next to the SEPTA Depot, and fill out an application in person for a summer job for 2017. But make for sure you handle your business between now and uh, certainly in March. You want to get that done and get those jobs available. We'll be back in a moment as we continue our discussion about beach companies. Stay with us right here at News You Can Use. of LaSalle's favorite TV game show, Q&A. Do you know that LaSalle TV is an entirely student-run organization? Probably, right? Do you also know that I happen to know all of the words to Eminem's rap god? It's crazy, right? It's like 
six minutes. I'm, I'm not going to do it here, but just trust me that I know the words. Three, two, one, action. You may think a guy would produce, be producing this, but I can too. Anyone can find a cure. Women are being downgraded for their physical ability, but you can be just as strong. Twenty percent of women are engineers, but it doesn't stop there. I'm a tech girl. I'm a tech girl. I am a tech girl. I am a tech girl. Well, hello, everybody, and if you just turned your television on, let me tell you, you've been missing a spotlight on an organization called the Beach Companies. Uh, they're based on Cecil B. Moore Avenue in the heart of North Central Philadelphia, and the president is here, Mr. Ken Scott. I'm good, so glad you were able to come today. This is awesome. And I have been in my head, you were supposed to be here like two years ago. I should have reached out uh -huh. to you like so long ago. It was in my head so many times to get a hold of you and have you on the show, but I guess things happen when they're supposed to happen, mm -hmm. and so yes. I'm glad that you're here today. Um, Beach Companies is a nonprofit, yes. but you do so much work in North Philadelphia. You're building um, n houses yes. as well houses. as buildings like this. Is it the inter? I want to call it the International House. Right. So we have. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick rundown of our organizations. Okay. People okay. don't realize of the, the Beach Companies. So we have Beach Interplex, which handles a lot of the real estate and a lot of the the housing, affordable housing. Mm -hmm. We've built up about 2,000 units of affordable housing in, in the community, which a lot of people don't realize we yes. drive around and see some of the homes with lawns and nice yes. garages that they were affordable housing um, that we put together years ago, some of the other apartments that were affordable housing. Uh, we had the Beach Business Bank, which provides loans and lending to, um, at low interest rates to businesses coming into the area, okay. uh, supporting a lot of other nonprofits, especially like, for example, during the state budget crisis, uh, provided a lot of funding to those mm. organizations, keep them so going. So now, a Beach Business Bank, yes. where a small business owner right, could correct. possibly get a loan if yes. they qualify, if, if they, they qualify, turn in all yes. the paperwork. That's correct. one of my big things when I'm talking to business owners about the City of Philadelphia Commerce Department and the um, in-store improvement grant oh, and yes. the storefront improvement grant. And at the beginning of the conversation, my business owners would be like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. That's great. And then when I tell them, and this is the application you have to yes. fill out, and they need your tax paperwork for the last five years, and they need this, and they need that, then they, and they shy away, and they don't yes. fill the paperwork out. Yes, it, it, it's sad, but that, that's often the, the case. So, you know, when we try to be as supportive as we can, like yes. walking them through the process, right, right. but reminding that, yes, this is a real loan, mm -hmm. and, you know, and this is what you have to do, mm -hmm. and, you know, we're trying to be a lot more helpful than your traditional bank, but yes. I just want to get business owners, small business owners, past the idea of when they hear that there's a, a, a grant or there's some money from the city to yes. help a small business owner, I want to get them past the idea of they, them thinking they can just go get it. Yes. But you, you have to qualify. Oh, yes. And there's so many people who are applying for that pocket of money, and everybody right. is not going to get it. That's right. Well, it's just like doing subsidized housing. I mean, there's a long line of people waiting yes. for subsidized housing. Yes. So if you go to our website, you'll see we have a film on there called The Beach Experiment. And because this really started as an experiment to see mm -hmm. what would it take to redevelop an area like this. Right. And we kind of walk through the process and people don't realize that, you know, this takes years to put these projects together. Mm -hmm. So people will come to see me and say, oh, I have this idea, I want to work on this. And I'm, you know, try to be as helpful as I can in walking them through the process. You're like, oh, that, that's going to take too long. We're trying to have this done by the end of right. the year. <laughs> it's like, good luck with that. I, I hope you're successful. Exactly. I mean, I'm all for oh that. You know, I'm mm -hmm. not going to try to, you know, destroy your dreams. Yes. I hope this right. is how I know how to do it. But if you can... If you can make mm -hmm. it work at a faster um, speed to get your project completed and you've got everything lined up, God bless you. you know, since Beach has been around for a good period of time now, you have a great reputation. Um, you, you have your networking system in place uh, for not only North Central Philadelphia, but I think around the city. People oh, yeah, know the right. name and they know your name. And so you come up clean and good and people feel uh, good about the work that you're doing. Um, was there opposition or is it challenging, like having a 
big school like a Temple University right there, are they mm -hmm. partnering with you? Are they working with you um, pretty well? So this is always interesting because people always ask me about Temple because a lot of people think that a lot of the work is going. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. Temple's doing this. I was like, well, none of that's really related to Temple. It's just mm -hmm. private development. There's development that we're doing. Um, for example, where people see the movie theater and yes. the shopping center, so we're part owners of that. We own all the ground, and then we lease it to the private developer that with the high Excellent. rise. So Excellent. between those, so you know, I may spend maybe ten percent of my time really working mm -hmm. with Temple. Mm -hmm. And you know, we we work together um, when we can. Beach has actually provided over ten million dollars of funding mm -hmm. to the university for various projects, mm -hmm. um, you know, directly linked to Excellent. you know the community yes. um, that we've provided over the years and school projects and so forth mm -hmm. on the academic side. Mm -hmm. And of course, the health system is completely different all the services that they provide we've had some programs there um, but you know but we're we represent the community we're advocates for the community so when mm -hmm. we disagree about something that we feel that's not in the best interest of the community then then we will oppose uh, temple we'll have conversations and as a strong word to say oppose but yes but you know we represent the community we're advocates for yeah. what's in the best interest of the community now um, is beach responsible for keeping Cecil B. Moore Avenue clean as a whistle because yes. it seems like, darn it, every time I come over there by your way, it's clean and I'm yes, a little we, envious we, because we I do, want we, North 22nd we clean, Street we clean, to look like we that. Do, we clean the streets uh, every day, Monday through mm -hmm. Friday. And you all pay that power day. washer So person? Yes, we do that, <gasps> yes. Let me tell you something. I stopped at 4 a.m. in the morning. I was on my way to the radio station, and um, we were doing streetscaping on North 22nd mm -hmm. Street, and we were at the phase where they were starting to clean up and whatnot, and it was... Um, Oh gosh, oh at the moment I just drew a blank on the name of the company that uh, did all of our streetscape work. But I had to convince them, listen, we need to hire a minority contractor to mm -hmm. do this cleanup process. I said, I know I can find one. So they said, okay, go find one then. And I didn't know <laughs> any oh, um, power see? washers that were African American. So there it goes again, back to that business directory yes, concept. Yes. I, I didn't know. Right. I'm Who looking, I'm searching, yes. and Googling it. I couldn't find anything about a, a minority owned um, power right. washing company. So it just so happened, because I, I go that way. I go through the city to get to the radio station I'm one since we I'm just past your building yes. and these okay. guys are out with this truck and I parked the car I got out this is four in the morning I started talking to yes. them and, and they said we're minority owned I said give me that number and I didn't believe them I said they're not they're not <laughs> they gave me the number and I called a little later that morning and sure enough uh, met the owner mm -hmm. and yes they are African-American owned and we were able to bring them over to 22nd Street to do some cleaning for us. Yeah. I just wish and we could do with them what you do which is regularly they come and power wash and clean right. those sidewalks. They right. look beautiful. Yes, clean clean the streets and you know there's an incubator in our in our building at, uh, at Beach that has a lot of small businesses so uh -huh. there's a yeah. newer small uh, cleaning company, maintenance company there mm -hmm. and we just hired them mm -hmm. to work on North Broad mm -hmm. as part of the North Broad Renaissance okay. uh, project, right? Okay, so this is that's good. Moving along but uh, yeah so between that and we also have an investment arm where we're investing in young people in technology mm -hmm. uh, especially a lot of minority students in different various schools and we're um, you know have a coding after school coding program and some other things going that way uh, obviously we have housing mm -hmm. um, we have our foundation which now, people before all you know. go further wait a minute on the housing do you have anything that's available now because people call all the time uh, where we're, I am asking about low-income housing. Well, we're getting ready to start to develop the next round, you mm -hmm. know, because mm -hmm. of, and we're not sure what the situation with HUD's going to be, because yes. a lot of this funding comes from HUD, mm -hmm. you know, subsidized, so, right. you know, we will put our share of the funding up, and usually it's for sale housing. Mm -hmm. So, I guess the last batch, the homes cost over $200,000 to build, and we sold them for right under 100000 mm -hmm. So, basically, it was at about a 40% rate of what you're actually paying mm -hmm. for. Plus, you get a 10-year tax abatement. Wow. I can't beat that deal mm. um, for a brand new home. And if you yes. look at our, the new homes we've put up, you know, the front lawns, garages. Nice, very those nice. Those are very beautiful homes. I would want to live there, place. yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Nice apartments. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we're looking more at that and some other things. But right now, we're also waiting to see what, what exactly does the new HUD look like with yes. this administration. Yes, sure, so we're, sure. We're, ben Carson, right? Yes, with Ben Carson, yes. So, hmm. not really I sure. Saw something in the paper today, yeah. in fact, where folks are trying to bring him into Philly to take right. a look at what we yes. have going on. Are you going um, to be a part so of that only, team? Yeah, so okay. I so might make myself available if I'm in town. Yes. You know, I do travel a mm -hmm, lot for work. Mm -hmm, yes. Um, but I'm encouraged by, it was a couple of people that have joined HUD that were veterans in the past that are now rejoining HUD okay. to actually work with them that they were asked to come in to, uh, to help lay the groundwork. I can't believe we have three minutes left and that's it. Where did the time go? But quickly, yes. we got to talk about the summer. I'm ready for the summer. It's February and it's like, it was 70 right. degrees yesterday. It's uh, It was about 
59 right? degrees today. I'm hot as I can be. I'm ready for summer to get here. And I'm excited about what Beach Companies is doing for the summer of 2017. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, we have more our jazz. Jazz on the hey. Air Festival. We'll be back in August, as, mm -hmm. as always. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're working on the lineup now, so we can't announce it just okay. yet until we lock in some contracts. Okay. But you know, there will be some major headliners, as, as always. Mm -hmm. But it's a good community time. It's good, you know, we call it fun, food, and family, right? Mm -hmm. You come out, enjoy the day, get some good community information, bring the community together about, you know, what it's working. And a lot of people haven't been to North Central Philly to see the changes yeah. and yeah. all the benefits that, that So available. now, for people who love to volunteer and who want to help out, who want to just roll up their sleeves and help beach companies with the jazz event this summer. Yes. Are there slots for volunteers? Yes, yes. We always have volunteers. That's through our, one of our other organizations. It's called Beach Community Services. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Beach Community Services, uh, Christine Brown is the mm -hmm. director. You can find this on our website. All you have to do is Google beachcompanies.com or beachinterplex.com. You'll see all the various companies come up under their names. You can click on it. You can email us. We have, you know, for information or contacts. And like Definitely I said, a family, yes. day, family, family day, atmosphere. Family day, enjoy it. You know, oh. you can't beat it. Free. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the other bring one. your lawn chair. Yes, bring your chair. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a full day. Full okay. day of music and entertainment and fun. All right. Yeah. And in reference to all the other great things that we had a chance to talk about today on the program, if people want to be in touch with Beach, um, maybe they don't have internet accessibility, is there a phone number we can put out? Sure. Our general phone number is 215-763-8824. 8824 is our general okay. phone number for okay. the Beach Company. And one more time, the contact information for that directory, I mean, you're... You're letting yes. people get in there for free? Yes. That's awesome. North Philly Biz at Outlook.com. Okay, North okay. Philly Biz at Outlook.com. Yes. And, 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 and the, the, the last thing I, I forgot, I started to mention mm -hmm. the foundation because mm -hmm. we're talking about free money. You know, we do have a foundation that gives out grants to organizations mm -hmm. in North Central Philadelphia. Um, so this is that time of the year again. We give them out twice a year. Applications are due by tax day, April mm -hmm. 15th. So if you go to our website again, you will find the Austin Beach Foundation. Click on it. You'll see the application. If you are a nonprofit, 501c3, you can apply for a grant. Sounds good to me. I thank you so much for coming. I really I thank appreciate you. Thank you, you. For having me. And I applaud you for all the work that you're doing in North Philadelphia, making things better, better, and better. Mm -hmm. And um, and folks who haven't been to your location, you just come see the studio if you don't do anything yes, else. Yes, it's yes. it's, it's set enjoy. up and ready for uh, all kinds of special programs. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You can see some of our documentary films are online. All right. Go to YouTube. All right. Now you have a great day, and we'll look forward to um, talking about what you're doing for the summer and what you're doing year round whenever we can. Okay. All thank right. You again, we thanks love thanks to me. spread a good word and positive information. Everybody, we want to thank you for checking us out on this edition of News You Can Use. And I also encourage you to uh, check out the radio program that I do on 900 AM WURD. We Facebook Live every day now, so it's not just radio, it's like out there to the world, and we're quite enjoying it. So give us a listen, 6 to 7 AM. Mondays through Fridays on 900 AM WURD. And as you move about the rest of your day, I want you to remember to have an attitude of gratitude and that life is fragile. Handle it with prayer and take care.